Mechanical digestion begins in the mouth as the food is chewed. Chemical digestion begins in the mouth when food mixes with saliva. Saliva contains an enzyme that begins the breakdown of carbohydrates. The epiglottis is a flexible flap at the end of the larynx in the throat. It acts as a switch between the larynx and the esophagus to permit air to enter the airway to the lungs and food to pass into the esophagus. The esophagus is a muscular tube connecting the throat with the stomach. It is about 8 inches long. The esophagus muscle acts with peristaltic action to move swallowed food down to the stomach. The action of peristalsis looks like an ocean wave moving through the muscle. The food then enters the stomach, which is a rounded, hollow J-shaped organ located between the esophagus and the duodenum. The stomach has three mechanical tasks to do. First, the stomach must store the swallowed food and liquid. This requires the muscle of the upper part of the stomach to relax and accept large volumes of swallowed material. The inner layer of the stomach is full of wrinkles, known as ruki. Ruki most allow the stomach to stretch in order to accommodate large meals and help to creep and move food during digestion. The second job is to mix up the food liquid with digestive juice produced by the stomach. The lower part of the stomach mixes these materials as a blender by its muscle action and breaks down the food to tiny particles in 3 mm. Finally, the stomach empties these acid mesh slowly into the small intestine. The small intestine or small bowel is an organ in the gastrointestinal tract where most of the end absorption of nutrients and minerals from food takes place. It lies between the stomach and large intestine and receives bile and pancreatic juice through the pancreatic duct to aid in digestion. Duodenum, the first part of the small intestine which receives particularly digested food from the stomach and begins the absorption of nutrients. The duodenum is the shortest segment of the intestine and is about 23 to 28 centimeters long. It is roughly horseshoe shaped. The pancreatic juices and bile that are released into the duodenum help the body to digest fats, carbohydrates and proteins. The food is in intestine now and have very long way to go. As a person grows, the small intestine increases 20 times in length from about 200 cm in a newborn to almost 6 meters in an adult. The inner walls of the small intestine show mucosal folds. These are called the plicae circulars. The plicae are more numerous in the early and reduce in numbers in the later part and are completely absent. Digestion is important because your body needs nutrients from food and drink to work properly and stay healthy. Proteins, fats, carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals, and water are nutrients. Your digestive system breaks nutrients into parts small enough for your body to absorb and use for energy, growth, and cell repair. All the important vitamins and nutrients in food move through the blood vessels that are in the lining of the small bowel. What is left over, which is mostly liquid, then moves into the colon. The water is absorbed in the colon. Bacteria in the colon break down the remaining material. Then the colon moves the leftover material into the rectum. The rectum is like a storage holder for these waste. Muscles in the rectum move the waste called stool out of the body through the anus.